Hello, fellow warriors against consensus reality. Lovers of truth, wisdom, and the um, pursuit of the deeper philosophical esoteric path. It's um, time for another video. And I had a rather interesting experience when I entered um, YouTube stu studio for this channel the other day. Uh, this weird thing came up where you need to turn on um, two-step um, security, otherwise you'll cease having um, access to YouTube studio from the 1st of November, which never happened before uh, on any channel. I'm thinking, does that mean that they're targeting this little channel of mine? And uh, I think this Pagan Monk channel of mine is my the last roll of the dice on YouTube for me. Um, I don't see myself lasting here too much longer, I don't think. Um, we'll see how we go. This channel never really was affected very much, although um, I'm noticing they're, um, they're fudging the... Um, the views and tampering here and there in little ways enough for me to notice but I will keep doing what I do for as long as I can um, I mean I will be I suppose uploading these videos to um, Odyssey as well um, I am on Odyssey under Roof of My Boss but we'll see how it goes um, I did try BitChute for a while but I just found it to be filled with um, the most bizarre um, dregs of humanity um jew hating white supremacist um fanatical abrahamic gobshites weird weird um you know the, the same people who think that um the bee bug juice injection juice is um the mark of the beast <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I, I will get uh, get into um, the whole Book of Revelation um, thing at some point. Um, I did promise a certain brother, and I will. I will do it. It just takes a lot of re reminding myself of things. Um, but I will point this out: it's not what you think it is. Fuck sick. But I digress. Um, yeah, I was enjoying videos from probably my favorite channel on YouTube of all time. Um, a wonderful channel. I think they're up to 1.2 million subscribers now. And they do have their own website, which is good. And memberships um, available on their website, which is also good. So if YouTube ever decides to be gobshites um that will not affect our listening pleasure um the channel name is academy of ideas um absolutely fucking great is all i can say um especially now it's interesting that now during this um propaganda war times that we live in um the v shall we call it the v for vendetta times that we live in <laughs> um it's become more relevant videos that they made five, seven years ago. And it's also amusing how certain titled videos from this channel are popping up in my um, feed lately. <laughs> Funny that. Especially when it comes to um, videos about mass psychosis and um, the problems with um, focusing on keeping society safe. And um, propaganda and the role of propaganda. Really, really quite timely um, videos. I suggest you check them out. But uh, yeah, I think we're definitely li living in um, transitional times. We're living in transformational times. Um, because the way things are going, yeah, they, they that had to change. Something had to be done. Um, this whole... Mm, unfettered materialist masturbation uh, could not go on 
as it was for much longer. Um, and we, we, we can't. If we're going to continue to grow and evolve and not in the way you think. <laughs> um, develop and grow and reach higher levels of awareness and um, human consciousness. You, we, we can't. We, we, we could not with the way things were going now. Um, I mean, you've got... Uh, You've got these two or three aspects of ideologies which fit together more better than people would perhaps think. Um, and these ideologies which work towards the malevolent chaos um, agenda of as few people as possible controlling as much as possible. Um, totalitarian control of everyone and everything um, by a small group of sociopaths, psychopaths, deluded gobshites of all descriptions. Yes, Klaus Schwab, I'm talking about you and your cronies. And um, I found in my studies, well, geez, during the last, geez, 36 years. Um, yes, I was a but a wee lad of 14. And... Uh, Um, the church, Christianity, have um, lended themselves nicely to the above mentioned agendas, um, because it all it all begins with fear. Um, if you take the effects of fear on a, on an individual human being and then multiply that exponentially um, into families, communities neighborhoods, nations, and global collective humanity, you'll see that um, the effects th that can be found in one individual are magnified um, by quite a lot when it comes to a broadening group of people. Um, and control begins with fear. Always does, and it always will be. <laughs> And what better way to do that than by injecting ideologies which thrive and perpetuate fear? Uh, I mean, you're talking to someone who was almost a Greek Orthodox priest when I was, what, n almost 19. I was this close. Um, someone who can read the New Testament in the original um, Hellenic language. Um, someone who studied this shit for the past 36 years, as I said. And... Um, there is, first of all, there is no eternally burning hell anywhere found in the New Testament. Anywhere. Ever at all. Sorry, no. Um, um, it's simply a, a device of fear. Um, and with the whole, I won't get into whole history about this now, the whole Reformation and... Um, the so-called enlightenment of the late of the 1700s and all the rest of that and the um renaissance and the push back i suppose against centuries of church oppression and so forth which is understandable um when you push the pendulum too far one way it's going to start swinging too far the other way and when when that let um sort of merged into the the materialist um industrial revolution and all that that did and with uh, the agenda of disempowering people and disconnecting people from their innate spirit um, and thereby effectively castrating people from their, their deep-seated power um, yes through the continued uh, push of all aspects of communism and which, of course, stems from Marxism. Um, atheism and all the rest of that. Um, all these ideologies which consider us nothing more than biological computers that Jeff Bezos can somehow manipulate into expanding his life by 50 years. I'm sorry, gobshite, but um, you're going to die one day, as we all are, and you're going to leave your billions behind. 
Even you, you even leave your own meat bag behind. Yes, I know you multi-millionaires and billionaires. That's really you spent a whole fucking lifetime amassing amassing all these huge fortunes, which you can't take with you anyway. So what a waste of a life, really. Um, but that that is what it is. Um, however, these um, these ideologies um, and these agendas today have manifested into the beer bug scamdemic we find ourselves in. And um, yeah, it really is a case of um, Stockholm Syndrome. It really is. Um, uh, you're, you're <laughs> People just think that somehow if we get the special juice jab... Um, we're going to, everything's going to go back to normal the way it was. No, there is no normal. They don't want normal. Um, there's a lot of people who are going to wake up with that rather painful um, realisation someday soon. Now, those of us who have been actually preparing ourselves for a life of individual and individualism and detachment from the mainstream society and all the rest of that are quite happy being... Lone wolves and and hermits. Actually, I've I've actually, as I said in my previous video, when I the moment I detached from all this negative crap from all sides, is when I found my happy peaceful space again. And when that happens, um, you're in for a really really good time, um, because threats of coercion and all the rest of it. Um, if you you can't do this, the, I know this long list of things you can't do unless you have the special juice jab. Um, well, you know what? I'm not in real hurry to go into a pub anytime soon or a restaurant anytime soon. Um, as long as I can get my coffee from somewhere, sit outside and read my book, my huge library of books, I'm good. <laughs> and I don't really talk to a hell of a lot of people anyway, so I'm good. Um, but, um, this whole thing, um, can really help a person to seek and find the truth, um, and empower yourselves, really empower yourselves, not through feminism and this woke crap and, you know, pretending to support women and the environment and, um, Oh, climate change. I don't give a fuck about any of those things. I don't give a fuck about your health. They don't care. They're sociopaths. You understand? They don't care about people. And so that moment of true liberation, of seeking, of re-engaging with creativity and learning and doing things you enjoy once again. Um, and following your path within. To, um, to find your true power because they can't take that away from you unless you let them. Um, something to bear in mind. It's, um, things are not what they seem, people. And the discerning ones who have the, the desire to, to look and question and have an open mind in their seeking are the ones that are actually going to find the truth. It's that simple. It is simple. It's as simple as, you're, as you let it be. The, um, just remember, to speak the truth is a lonely path. <laughs>